Hey everybody, it's The Walker. So what are we doing today? Well today I'm doing a review of the Water Lily turbine. Let's take a look at this. This is a dry sack. It's a little bit of a special dry sack and that has a USB plug here. We'll take out the contents. Inside the dry sack is a USB plug. And if you haven't worked it out by now, the water lily is basically A portable turbine. So here's the turbine um, blades or whatever you want to call it. Connects via these um, look like stable stainless steel cables with um, Four of them total came with this uh, paracord, which is my favorite color. It's like chartreuse or otherwise known as zombie green. Basically, The USB power comes out of this plug right here, standard USB. Just plugs right in. Mine came with a anchor power bank. This was actually sent to me for review. So that's how I uh, came to possess it. This anchor power bank, I believe is that 6,700 milliamp hours. Yep, 6,700. So that's, that's a lot for a small power bank. Here's the basic, I'll show you the basic principle. It's a little accessory thing. Let's see if I believe that's right. And basically, the turbine turns. <laughs> Let me put the sound on. There we go. I love that sound.
I don't recommend charging like this. It's just, you know, I have to be one heck of an emergency before I, could, I would even consider doing this. The reason is the energy um, being transferred over in my testing trying this was actually pretty low. So, what it really works best as is an actual turbine. The real question is, of course, does it work? Let's go on to the field testing. It's time we're gonna test out this bag that comes with the uh, water lily. Four hundred and fifty six milliamp hours transferred in one hour and two minutes. Fifty six percent.
72% charged. 554. Five hundred and twenty seven milliamp hours transferred in one hour. We've got 173 milliamp hours transferred in 38 minutes, unplugged. This timer is a little quicker than this one because they plugged this in first. Got ourselves a new spot. Seventy six milliamps in fifteen minutes. The time is uh, seven fifty. Direct plug in. No meters, no nothing. We're at sixty nine percent at the 804 all right the water lily did just fine in its testing i didn't have enough wind in a constant direction to test um how it charges in the wind personally i think this is a turbine not a windmill so my recommendation if you get this to use that application more so than the wind application. That's just my opinion. Um, as far as durability goes, I did not treat this particularly kind. I, you know, um, at one point I used the, um, U, the USB cable to pull it out of the water when um, the paracord got sucked away on me. 
only wear I've had is a little bit of this um, cable guard here. Got frayed, cable itself, no problem. At one point, it had this um, stuck between a rock underwater. Uh, it was, I just dropped it in the water by accident in the current. I got it out, no problems, just a couple scratches on it. So, you know, I had a stick go into here, into the turbine, and choo, shut the system down. The blades did not um, break on it, so I got no complaints there. Leaves in general, I tested this a lot during the melt when there's leaves in the water because of um, everything in the snow. During a melt, you get a lot of leaves and materials in the water, and they would usually pass through or grit ground up. Occasionally, they would build up. But overall, it leaves weren't a huge problem for me in the testing. I think they did have a slight impact, though, on uh, how much current it would produce. But, you know. The charge bag worked well. This is to uh, protect your devices or the power bank from the water because well, if you're leaving it out, obviously, or by a uh, river, there's plenty of spray. My advice when charging, charge the power bank. This power bank came with it. I would charge the power bank rather than the phone directly. Although you can charge the phone, it's always risky charging a cell phone via alternative methods directly as opposed to a power bank. A power bank will always accept the charge. If the charge dips for any reason, there could be a situation where the phone basically turns itself on and off repeatedly and sucks itself dry. I've had this issue happen with um, solar. I didn't really have it happen um, with the turbine because the turbine kept a certain rate of, of um, current coming in and I was able to tell with the USB charger if there was gonna be a problem. All right. Um, again, we're giving it a thumbs up. So, the water lily. Definitely was fun to test and it definitely worked. All right, if you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and as always, thanks for watching.